Hey y'all, stay tuned with me and I'll explain to you why the US track and field Olympic team qualification system needs to be upgraded. The Olympics is arguably the best sporting event of our time. And in the upcoming games in Paris, the U.S. will have some of the best athletes in the world representing the country. But on the flip side of things, some of our best athletes are staying home due to bad performances or bad luck during the Olympic trials. Now, an example of this is mid-distance runner Athing Mu failed to qualify after tripping during the women's 800 meter finals. Mu won gold in the 800 meters and the 4x4 in the Tokyo Olympics. Pole vaulter Sandy Morris had a rough day at the trials and that ended her hopes of going to Paris. Morris is a silver medalist at the 2016 Olympics and came into the Olympic trial finals ranked as second. Um, lastly, 2023 World Discus Champion Laggy's Tusagi Collins also failed to make the team after fouling out on all three of her throws. Now, if we're excluding athletes of this caliber from the Olympic roster due to technicalities or misfortune at the Olympic trials, that begs the question, why doesn't the U.S. track and field governing body change the system? First, let's look at the current U.S. track and field Olympic qualification system. How do you qualify for a spot on the U.S. track and field Olympic team? Just to note that I'm reviewing the uh, 2024 qualification factors at a high level. You can find the complete breakdown at usatf.org for a more detailed look. Now, step one to having a chance at qualifying for the Olympic team is you must be eligible for the Olympic trials and compete there. Now, athletes can qualify for the U.S. Olympic team trials with marks in indoor or outdoor competitions. Now, all performances must be legal marks to achieve that a U.S. track and field sanctioned meet or a meet listed on the World Athletics calendar and be included in the World Athletics top list. Now, all athletes that meet the automatic standard qualify for the Olympic trials. Finally, an athlete's fortunate enough to qualify for the Olympic trials team and place in their top three of their event receives an invitation to compete at the Olympics. Look, in my humble opinion, having one event as the end all qualifier um, of a handful of coveted spots is a gross miscalculation from the U.S. track and field governing body. And it's unfair to athletes. Um, in an article I read from um, The Guardian, it discussed the self-defeating cruelty of the Olympic trials. And one of the theories that was floated um, in that article was Americans' addiction to uh, playoffs and clutch performances. Now, track and field is not American football or basketball, um, rather. The Olympic trials should follow a different playoff structure or system completely. And the simple fact that the Olympic Games are a global competition held every four years separates it from other major sporting events. If elite athletes are lucky enough, they only get maybe one or two chances to qualify for the Games. And the U.S. Track and Field Olympic trial system needs to consider the athlete who runs record-breaking times all year long and unfortunately comes down with the flu during the Olympic trials. Now, someone like that could subsequently miss out on their opportunity to make the team and, and have to wait another four years to try all over again. And you gotta admit, something like that is tough. How many good athletes has the U.S. left off the team in a similar situation? And what, what do we have, what does U.S. track and field stand to gain from something like that? Is it the pageantry of the Olympic trials and the TV dollars that, that the event brings? Is it worth it? Perhaps. In any case, the U.S. track and field governing body needs to tweak the qualification system to ensure that our best athletes aren't left out. It could be as simple as reserving a top spot for the top or the highest ranking athlete in each event. And this format would still give you the opportunity to have the two spots, the two remaining spots obtained at the trials. To me, that's a win-win scenario for Team USA. Look, no, no system is perfect. But if there's an opportunity to make things better, we need to do that. And I hope this is something that the U.S. track and field governing body can look into changing in the near future. Look, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, how do you feel on the subject? Do you think the U.S. track and field Olympic team qualification system um, needs to change or are things fine the way they are? Uh, please comment below or leave a note at my website, www.rvarunningman.com. Um, if you'd like to hear more running and fitness content, please remember to subscribe to my channel and podcast, the RVA Running Man podcast. Um, I appreciate your support. And until next week, please be safe on the roads and trails. I'll talk to you later. Peace.